Ireland is a beautiful country with a fascinating cultural history, but it is also a mysterious and spiritual place. The idea of thin places, na hadiana biga, in Irish, has a long history in Irish mythology. It refers to sacred regions where the veils between the spiritual and material worlds is particularly thin, allowing one to connect more deeply with God. In Celtic mythology, thin places are seen as portals or gateways to the other world, a mystical land inhabited by gods, goddesses, and other supernatural beings. These places are often marked by natural features such as wells, trees, and rocks, which are believed to be endowed with spiritual power. The Celts believed that the ancestors and the spirits of the land resided in these spaces. Hence, the Celts frequently perform rituals and ceremonies at these sites. Many of these pagan locations were transformed into Christian holy sites after Christianity was introduced to Ireland. To symbolize the victory of Christianity over paganism, monasteries, churches, and other religious buildings were erected atop historic sites. Regardless, people continue to feel a spiritual presence there, and miracles, visions, and other paranormal events continue to be associated with these places. The works of Irish poet W.B. Yeats, who wrote extensively on Irish mythology and folklore in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, contain one of the earliest modern references to thin places in Ireland. However, it was not until the 20th century and the revival of interest in Celtic spirituality that the term, thin place, became more widely used. Some notable figures who have helped to popularize the concept in recent years include author and theologian John O'Donohue and spiritual teacher and author N. M. Cara. Today, many people still seek out thin places in Ireland for spiritual and mystical experiences. These are 12 thin places in Ireland you can visit. I have personally been to three of them, Newgrange, Hill of Terra and Hill of Usneach, and I will be doing another video to talk about my experiences in these three locations. If that is something you are interested in, please like and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, the 12 thin places in Ireland. Skellig Michael is a tiny, rocky island that lies off the coast of County Kerry. It is the location of a historic Christian monastery dating back to the 6th century. Visitors must ascend hundreds of steps to access the monastery because it is perched on a tall, rocky cliff. Maybe because of its remoteness and untamed beauty, visitors frequently feel feelings of serenity and tranquility there. Glendallow is a valley in County Wicklow surrounded by mountains and contains a few lakes and waterfalls. St. Kevin founded a 6th century monastic settlement in the valley. County Meath is the home for three different thin places. Hill of Terra is the place where high kings of Ireland were traditionally crowned. There is also the famous ancient site known as Newgrange built around 3200 BCE. It is a passage grave with a central chamber which is lit up by the rising sun during the winter solstice. The third place in County Meath is the Hill of Scrine, referred to as, the Hill of the Angels. Saint Comsil is supposed to have seen an angel on the hill. The Burn is a limestone landscape in County Clare. Numerous historic sites, including as megalithic tombs, stone circles, and holy wells, can be found there. The most sacred mountain in Ireland is Crof Patrick, located in County Mayo. It is related to St. Patrick, who is reputed to have fasted for 40 days on the mountain. Deemed a sacred site for thousands of years, Loch Gur is a lake in County Limerick that is encircled with standing stones and old burial mounds from prehistoric times. Sleeve League Mountain Range in County Donegal is renowned for its breathtaking scenery and natural beauty. St. Patrick's Purgatory lies on an island in Loch Derg, County Donegal. St. Patrick is believed to have visited the island and had a vision of the hereafter. The Hill of Usneach is an ancient ceremonial location in County Westmeath which is regarded as Ireland's spiritual and political centre. The ancient celebration of Beltane, which ushers in the summer season and is still observed by some people today, is frequently held there. Situated in Ballyvorney, County Cork, St. Gobnate's Well is connected to the saint, who is said to have worked miracles and cured the sick. Visitors to thin spaces might experience a spiritual experience, a flash of insight, or a rare glimpse into a higher reality. 
they might also offer a place for transformation and healing. If nothing else, it provides an opportunity to discover Ireland's rich cultural past. If you like this video, here is another video relating to the paranormal aspects of the British Isles.